Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading here at Mad World Tarot. And yes, I'm back. I'm back at the tarot table. Fluffy is fast asleep under a chair as I am doing this. It's incredibly hot here so she's having a good sleep. And uh, she's fine and thank you for your concern about her while I was away. She was very well looked after and I had a very, very pleasant trip. Uh, even though some wild weather while I was away but that's pretty much guaranteed if I book somewhere uh, you can be almost certain that there is going to be some weather event some strange weather event same goes for the royal world tarot reader decides to take a break and all hell breaks loose in the royal world it is quite strange um, incredible number of things have been going on we are going to spend today having a look at the aviation award the living legends thing that harry attended yesterday and mysteriously even though Meghan markle uh, was confirmed to be attending uh, she didn't show up. We know how she loves an awards ceremony. So why? What was going on? Why did she let Harry fly solo uh, at this awards ceremony? And of course, a lot of speculation around it. The um, official reason given was that one of the children is unwell. And so she decided to stay home. Fair enough. Happens to all of us. But of course, there are nannies. There's Doria and... Um, I'm sure a little workaround could have been arranged if the tiara had been cleaned and polished and the designer gown ordered and fitted and all the rest of it. So the speculation about um, things like um, Lauren Sanchez thinking that it would be better if Megan stayed home rather than trying to move in on uh, Jeff Bezos. There is speculation that Harry might not have wanted her around for various reasons. Of course, the Parkles have been going through a rather tricky time as far as the PR goes. Um, the, the racism thing hasn't quite died down. Harry has just withdrawn a legal case, which doesn't uh, look very good for him. Um, there have been scandals around the naming of children, the Lilibet scandal. And of course, the awards itself provoked ire in certain circles. Top Brass and the military came out and said that they couldn't understand why he had been awarded this award farcical. So perhaps she just decided to stay home to protect her brand and uh, leave Harry out to uh, to dry, basically. So those are the speculations. Those are the stories, the rumors. I have the cute ghost tarot on the tarot table for this one because, of course, she did rather ghost the award, didn't show up. We're going to have a look and see, have a look at the reasons, a general reason why she might not have shown up. Coward, didn't want the, the backlash. Um, we're going to look at Lauren Sanchez, who joked about having to get extra bodyguards to protect Jeff Bezos from Megan. And that was a joke, um, but maybe she did manage to scare her off or block her Harry. Did Harry block her from going or did she just decide she was going to leave Harry to um, bear the consequences of this farcical award on his own? And then the children, we're going to look and see, was a child really ill or was this just a rather lame excuse to cover herself? because at the very last minute she couldn't quite pluck up the courage to get in that limo. There are other other speculations, maybe a bit of plastic surgery that went awry. That's one of the rumours. And of course, let's remind you, um, maybe they had a fight on the way and, uh, you know, stopped at a, at a traffic light and she got out in, in the tiara and that evening gown and stomped home. It's uh, happened to many people. Um, let's see um let's remind you of course that it's tarot for fun and entertainment and it's all just my opinion it's all speculation i just read energy here and there is a disclaimer in the box below we have our reading there's cards flying out tells me that we do have the good energy in the cute ghost tarot deck so that we're going to see what kept madame at home was it a medical um emergency not quite a medical emergency i think we would have heard if it had really been emergency, a true emer medical emergency. Um, so let's see. Um, 
not diminishing or uh, possible childhood illnesses if we've all been there wake up in the morning and everyone has got mumps or chicken pox or whatever uh, it happens so perhaps it really did happen we're going to try and find out today here at the tarot table oh we have the teacher in reverse that's the hierophant good old-fashioned hierophant in regular right away but called the teacher and it's the teacher in reverse. That's interesting. Um, it's about status and hierarchy and all of those things. The hierophant, the teacher, it's about life lessons learned and not learned. It is about the royal family, of course, too. And it's got the royal family there in reverse. And that's very interesting to me because we have heard a lot in recent days, particularly while I was the traveling tarot reader, about how they are going to reconcile has been and uh, Megan Carparkle with the royal family that they're going to seize this opportunity while the uh, two of the senior royals are having medical true medical emergencies harry and megan going to make their moves back and claim windsor castle for their own sit on the thrones as uh, prince andrew allowed that wretched pair i won't say their names here because you know trouble follows um but allowed them to sit on the throne and uh, perhaps uh, she's already packing her suitcase and uh, heading to the airport while has been is getting an award for flying um, private jets many people joked uh, perhaps she's well on her way to claim what she believes is rightfully hers with that teacher card hierophant card in reverse uh, possible that she felt it advisable to stay quietly at home under the radar my goodness uh, all these uh, flying metaphors um, coming out and uh, leave Harry to it so that the royals couldn't point fingers at her and she might try to ingratiate herself with them later on that's what's coming to me through that card very loudly so the situation the disappearance of Meghan Markle from an award uh, ceremony nine of cups Nine of Cups is the awards ceremony. Look how many awards there are and how the awards are loved with that heart between those cups. And she has collected quite a few herself. I'm not sure if has been has collected any since he's been married to Miss Markle. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, they did. They got that joint NAACP award, of course, um, that was filmed uh, a fake awards ceremony, a green screen involved, um, a, f a fake applause track. Um, use Doria there of course as well he's towed, been towed along to some of them um, uh, but uh, she does love an awards ceremony there it is nine of cups so let's find out how eager she was how keen she was to go um, as I say cleaning the jewelry and all the rest of it seven of cups yeah it's the stuff of dreams we've got the nine of cups and the seven of cups together here those are the things that uh, the cards that most represent dreams and delusion and fantasy uh in, in, you know, wishful thinking um lying on on the day bed dreaming about as she sips away at the uh, bottle of whatever that wine is that she liked so much um i would say rosé afternoon um dreaming about glory and imagining the speech she could be giving and all of that stuff she wanted to go it definitely was something that she was looking forward to she was fantasizing about there's john travolta um she was going to dance with john travolta like diana danced with john travolta she was going to have that moment she probably elbow has been out the way and make the speech herself um jeff there of course she could make her moves if she wanted to all there in that realm of fantasy fantasy so a general explanation card from universe please why she didn't show up at the very last minute decided to stay home with that bottle of rosé perhaps we have queen of cups in reverse female energy queen of cups um a coldness between females is between women let's call it that rather um i'm thinking uh that's not mother anxious over child uh, but we would have seen a child there that is not um, to do with harry it's not to do with the backlash from the military because it would have been a military type of card this is women 
not getting on, not supporting each other. I think that that is a, a bit of a Lauren Sanchez vibe in there. Uh, perhaps feeling the coldness, Lady C had spoken about how friends of hers in California with Inside Info had um, had things to say about Lauren Sanchez and her attitude to Meghan Markle and her protective attitude towards the great prize she has managed to claim, Jeff Bezos. Um, I'm getting it there. I'm getting with that Queen of Cups that there is uh, not feeling the love not feeling the love at all so that's uh, a general kind of a, a vibe from universe let's look at the specifics now let's look at lauren sanchez remembering this of course is tarot um let's have a look and see did she actively block megan markle from attending we got the high priestess that's a very mysterious card it's a very powerful card it's a behind the scenes kind of a power uh, that is uh, wielded there with a the high priestess. Uh, she has secrets, she has powers, she has the ability to manifest things and make things happen in that mysterious way. It's certainly giving me the energy of a behind the scenes word going through perhaps back channels to people, even to someone like Prince Harry himself, that you are welcome, but perhaps it would be advisable for your wife to stay at home this evening. That kind of a secret messaging that I'm getting from the high priestess would never acknowledge it. Even going through, and I have to say this, this is rather a curious feeling that has just come to me. Even going through a channel such as Lady C, getting the message out via Lady C that Meghan Markle is not welcome or that uh, she's laughed at, she's, she's viewed as a bit of a joke. Um... And that steps are being taken to defend, as I say, uh, very well expensive property. Um, shall we put it like that? H how does Megan feel about Lauren Sanchez? Was she afraid of her? Did she decide to stay at home rather than have a confrontation with her or be um, treated disrespectfully or something like that? So is she intimidated by her? Uh, that's the juggling. That's the decisions, decisions, decisions. She had to think it through. The Two of Coins is a thinking card. Um, is it worth going or is it better to stay at home? Juggling, decision making, uh, weighing the consequences of two uh, possible courses of action to do with um, quite tangible things because it's coins rather than swords which are very much uh, thoughts. This is more of practical, physical thing. Is it worth... Um, showing up in in my in my best dress that i was really saving for the oscars and then being the butt of jokes and um, john travolta doesn't dance with me he dances with lauren sanchez instead and um, i've wasted all that effort it's about wasting effort it's not about being intimidated um, it's about not feeling the love here queen of cups in reverse perhaps being blocked and thwarted with making her moves on that very expensive property land claim kind of a thing there um staking her claim and, and this is it worth spending this money putting in all this effort uh, perhaps having to um, spend some effort on uh, some quick tweaks uh, plastic kind of tweaks to her face and things like that and then you know a waste of time that's the energy that I'm getting around Lauren Sanchez how about has been himself did he uh, turn around and say you're not welcome your name is worth whatever at the moment because of that book and because of the racism thing and because of Lilibet and you've caused all this trouble and stay well away from me you woman you uh, did he do that we got the eight of coins in reverse hmm that's interesting because it's a big money card and there is a rumor it's a Neil Sean story that really the reason why has been showed up at the awards was because he was trying to grift for Invictus Games I'm using that word it's my own word um, uh, passing the hat around among all the billionaires so trying to schmooze with them and try and help Invictus Games out they seem to be in a pile of financial trouble they were begging for uh, donations on social media and we ha it's on the enormous list. I started a new book today of things to read on 
all kinds of things. Uh, we'll work our way through it. We'll try anyway. And the Invictus Games is one of those things. Eight of coins and rivers. You've cost me a pile of money. That's what I'm getting. You've cost me a pile of money. And if you show up at this awards ceremony and I'm trying to pass the hat around for the Invictus Games, I might not get any. Because there's a lot of criticism of the Parkles for attending the latest games and Megan dancing around in public in very strange outfits. Um, and it's all about them and having the... the um, the best suite in the hotel had to be redecorated in a certain colour scheme and all this nonsense. Cost the Invictus Games a, ha a packet. Allegedly, let's throw one of those in. And uh, so I won't be able to schmooze and do the work and make the money if you are around. That's the vibe that I'm getting. How about Megan's perspective on Harry? I'm going to hang you out to dry, leave you to fight your battles on your own. Um... Uh, the backlash from all the military and all the rest of it and I don't want to be associated with you does she feel, feel that it was embarrassing so embarrassing that it's better for her to stay away let's have a look oh yes it's the PR card the eight of sticks the eight of wands of course and it's in the reverse upright great PR uh, I think they were expecting that when they organized the award when they bumped it fortuitously into John Travolta and convinced him or Harry did convinced him that it was a brilliant idea to give Harry this award um, trading on the Diana name we're going to look at that next um, they thought it would be brilliant but of course it all got turned on its head unexpectedly as it often does with the Parkles and I do feel for them you know as I say it's a bit like me booking a holiday and then comes a tropical cyclone for instance uh, and it's a bit of a tropical cyclone that came towards the park halls. And so eight of sticks in reverse is bad PR, wanting to stop the negative publicity, wanting to quiet all of that down. So I do think it was a strategic move. A stay at home, keep under the radar, away from all that flack and uh, let him deal with it. Two eights, interestingly, sitting there for the, for the, the loving couple. And eights are about being busy after a pause with the seven in tarot terms. Uh, getting out there and getting busy, making your money, eight of coins, uh, messaging, communicating, eight of sticks, both in reverse. So they look at each other. This is fascinating. They look at each other and see liability instead of assets charming relationship but we've seen how charming the relationship is in all of our um, readings recently and not so recently either in fact from day one pretty much the children final column here we don't have an outcome because we all know the outcome she didn't show up um, so let's look at the children's story was one of the children unwell and of course they could have been because that's what happens as I say but was one of the children just generally unwell Oh, we have the justice card in reverse. Ooh, you know, I, I, I get that card and my blood runs cold because I'm sitting with the cards. I've taken them out of you, of you, but they're still in my line of sight. And this card suddenly called to me before I turned that card over. And that king of blades is a lawyer. We're going to bring him out. It's a lawyer. And uh, justice card in reverse tells me that there are things going on legally around those children which I see constantly in my readings. Um, we're not going to speculate what they are right here and right now but I'm just reading energy and I'm just telling you what the cards tell me. You can put the justice card in reverse with the king of blades and you get all kinds of things. You can put those two cards together for instance uh, just as an example then you could get divorce and custody dispute. You could get some sort of legal, um, a sort of rest restraining order saying you are not allowed to um, um, do kid show kids in public. We have just heard a reading ahead. We have just heard that the kids were spotted out with Meghan Markle at some breakfast or coffee shop or something like that in Montecito. Unprecedented. We have never, we, we've had milkshakes being bought allegedly for children, delaying a flight to Dusseldorf. But it, there's, there's those kinds of possibilities in there. There may be um, access issues going on around the children. All kinds of things possible in there. I'm not getting illness with a justice card in reverse. You could at a stretch 
you could say that something was out of balance with one of the children um, in medical terms yes when you are ill things uh, the system is unbalanced and does uh, you know that's uh, that's a response of your immune system to something and and then you are sick but that's a real stretch that's two percent of the energy just to clarify so uh, was this just a convenient excuse stay at home but uh, we've heard it from the Wales family before got to stay home because child sick or something's gone on or writing an exam and worried about the exam we've heard those kinds of stories and absolutely plausible when it comes from the Wales family because we see how they are with their children how Harry and Meghan are with their children on the other hand is an absolute mystery um, so let's see was this just a lame excuse cover and we got six of what yeah lame excuse um a six of sticks upright is victory triumph look at me how i am on my victory parade triumphal return to the limelight you could say with the six of sticks upright it in reverse a humiliating defeat she felt humiliated by whatever was going on and i'm getting Lauren Sanchez vibes there with that Queen of Cups in reverse. I'm getting, is it worth it? Is it worth risking humiliation? I've got to spend all this money, put in this effort. And then somehow Lauren Sanchez turns up in that black sort of bin bag outfit. And there I am in my usual beige and she's going to get all the oohs and ahs. And I've spent my tiny pentacle that has the only pentacle that I've got on a beige outfit and she's going to win. Is it worth it? And her bling is so much bigger than my bling. Her engagement ring, enormous. It's the kind of engagement ring that Megan would dream of. And of course, the engagement ring has mysteriously disappeared or humiliating does she want to be seen with the has been while he's schmoozing trying to pass the hat around for the invictus games and while everyone's mocking him and exposing the fact that he really wasn't an apache pilot um, and he flew the odd training miss mission as a trainee pilot never qualified was a gunner or very embarrassing very humiliating want to stop that kind of bad pr stay at home use the excuse of kids there is something weird going on with kids here and uh, it doesn't want any more humiliation stay at home six of sticks i had it in my mind's eye before i did this reading uh, as a card that really needed to show up and it needed to show up in reverse to show the level of humiliation that she feels she's going through at the moment ta-da there it is and let's remember the teacher card lessons learned in upright position lessons not being learned in the reverse that's the has-beens the car park holes but also the royal family is in some degree of disarray at the moment and she might be seeing a chance in there and Neil Sean seems to think that she does allegedly let's put one of those in and she might be thinking well who needs that silly award who needs Jeff Bezos who needs to try and outdo Lauren Sanchez with the bling when actually I could be stuffing that tiara in my suitcase and making a beeline for the throne room at Buckingham Palace that is your reading thanks for watching and I'm going to hop on to the next one now